What parts of plants do we eat? Let's start from the ground level of the question. The root is the part of a plant that typically lies below that level and grows downwards. Its functions are absorption of water and nutrients from the soil, storage of nutrients and vegetative reproduction. The types of fruits we eat are tap roots, single fat elongated roots like carrots, beets, radishes and turnips, or tubers, often multiple and large parts of the plant's root system, like potatoes or yams. The vegetative reproduction means that a tuber like potato, for example, can grow a whole new potato plant out of itself without being pollinated. A plant can clone itself this way. A stem is typically above ground part of a plant, which holds it upright, helping provide access to air and sunlight to its leaves and flowers. Vegetables that are plant stems are asparagus or bamboo shoots and kohlrabi. An underground part of stem grows horizontally and is called a rhizome. Ginger is a rhizome. Leaf stalks are called petioles by botanists. They serve to connect leaves with the stem of the plant. Celery and rhubarb are petioles or leaf stalks. Then there are bulbs which are short stems together with fleshy leaves and leaf bases and function as food storage during plant's dormancy, growing into whole new plants with a change of season. The bulbs that we eat are onion and garlic. Leaves are parts of plants that catch sunlight and produce nutrition through the process of photosynthesis. The leaves we eat are spinach, kale, lettuce, and cabbage. Flowers are reproductive organs of plants. And guess what? We eat those as well. Cauliflower and broccoli are tight clusters of unopened flowers or buds. Artichoke is a bud. Squash flowers are considered a delicacy in Italy. Nasturtium flowers are an interesting addition to salads and candied violet flowers are used in confectionery. After a flower done with its job, a plant forms a fruit, which is a seed-bearing structure formed around the singular or multiple seeds, serving to protect and disperse the seeds and to provide nutrients for them as it's decomposed. Apples, pears, and citrus are fruits, but so are cucumbers and squash, as well as melons and watermelons. Peppers, eggplants, green beans, and green peas. Peanuts are fruit, as well as nuts like hazelnuts or walnuts. Tomatoes are fruits. Berries like strawberry are fruits. We eat a lot of fruits, as fruits or as vegetables, raw and or cooked. A seed is a flowering plant's unit of reproduction, capable of developing into another such plant. Drop the seed onto the ground, and under favorable conditions it will grow into the same kind of plant that produced it. All grains we eat are seeds. Wheat, oats, rice, buckwheat, chia seeds, amaranth, beans and peas are seeds, too. Almonds are seeds. Shelled peanuts are seeds. I know. I want nuts researching which nuts are fruits and which are seeds. And of course, sunflower or pumpkin seeds are seeds. Plants are amazing, complicated factors that convert dirt, water, air, and sunlight into food. They store it for themselves to use at times when it's less available or more needed. And they have to produce even more because a lot of it gets consumed by other species who totally depend on them, such as birds, insects, and animals. The competition is fierce in nature, and to make sure we humans get ahead of it, we had to learn ways to increase plant production. But that's another story.